second coming and the last judgment of all. In chapter 25 of St. Matthew's Gospel, which we heard today, Christ speaks about what will happen at this specific point when he will come in his glory and all the holy angels with him. Many times in the Gospel, Jesus indirectly refers to himself as the King when he talks about the Kingdom of Heaven, but here he very directly states that the Son of Man shall come in glory with his angels and sit on his kingly throne to judge all nations. At his coming, he will sit on the throne of his glory, and then all the nations will be gathered before him. He will separate them as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. The sheep will be placed on his right hand and the goats on his left. To the sheep he will say, Come, be blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. This kingdom is offered to the sheep because of their compassion and their service towards those in need. Jesus says, For I was in hunger, and he gave me meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in, naked, and he clothed me. I was sick and he visited me, I was in prison and he came unto me. The sheep who are the righteous chosen for the kingdom will ask how this could be. They will ask Jesus when was he hungry or thirsty or stranger, naked or in prison, and he will answer them by saying, Inasmuch as he have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, he did it unto me. Christ the King will then turn to the goats on his left and say, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. He will condemn them because they did not feed him when he was hungry, give him drink when he was thirsty, take him in when he was a stranger, clothe him when he was naked, nor visit him when he was sick or in prison. And the goats will ask the Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? And then he will answer them, saying, Inasmuch as he did it not to one of the least of these, he did it not to me. Jesus concludes his words on the last judgment by stating that those on the left shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Each of the first four Sundays of the Triodian period, the Church gives us a lesson in preparation for Lent. On the past two Sundays of this pre-Lenten period, the focus was placed on God's patience and his limitless compassion of his readiness to accept every sinner who returns to him, as we heard in the two parables of the publican and the Pharisee, and the prodigal son. But on this, the third Sunday, we are powerfully reminded of a complementary truth. No one is so patient and merciful as God, but even God does not forgive those who do not repent. The God of love is also a God of righteousness, and when God comes, when Christ comes again in glory, he will come as our judge. And such is the message of Lent to each of us, turn back while there is still time, repent before the end comes. This Sunday sets before us what we call the eschatological dimension of Lent. Eschatology obviously is a Greek word, and it's a word theologians use to refer to what will happen at the end of time. Christ's second coming the resurrection of the dead, and the last judgment. And the coming great fast of Lent is preparation for the last judgment. In the Liturgy of Supplication we say in every liturgy we pray for a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless and unashamed, and a good defence before the dread judgment seat of Christ. 
So, how do we prepare for a good defence when we are summoned before the Divine Tribunal? It is a very serious matter. It is also a very personal matter. In the iconography of the Last Judgment, many churches um, have such iconography, we don't here in Cardiff, but in the traditional iconography, we can see human beings raised from the dead, and each person is naked, and as we heard in one of the hymns of Matins, it doesn't matter if the person was rich or poor, a king or a slave. The person stands before the dread judgment seat of Christ, and everything he did in his life is examined, both good deeds and his sins. While God ultimately wants all men to be saved, as we heard in the Gospel today, it will, at the end, be our choices which either save us or condemn us. We either love our fellow human beings and be saved, or we ignore our fellow human beings and we will be damned. We are now very close to the beginning of Great Lent. We begin our long journey towards Pascha with prayer, fasting and almsgiving. Today is the Sunday of Meat Fair or Carnival and it's the last day on which we may eat meat until Pascha. Starting tomorrow we have the week of Cheese Fair and throughout this week we don't eat meat but we eat fish and dairy products every day even on Wednesday and Friday. And it is important that we try our best to keep the fast. The fast helps us to prepare not just for Easter in 2023, but for the last judgment which each one of us must face at the end of time. Through the prayers of our Heavenly Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.